Everybody has something in life that they enjoy doing. For me, I love playing football. But as many of you know, I really jacked up my hand the other day. I think I broke my finger. So I decided, even though my hand was really jacked up, that I was gonna go try to give it a go at the flag football game. Oh. My right, my middle finger, my throwing hand. Although my hand was feeling good in warmups, it was time to test it in the real game. It didn't take me long at all to find out that having an injured hand would definitely cause issues with throwing the ball. But hey, I'm here to have fun. Time to improvise. Hey ref, you gonna make a call today or what? Why should I? I don't like it. I don't know about this one. You blind or what? I mean, do I need to check your vision? I'm getting the ball, that's all that matters. No, I got 2010. Okay, I 20 can see 10. right through you. X gonna give it to you. Check those lenses. That's gonna be open all night. Oh, that's why I put them in. I'll grab your nuts if the bike's flying in front of me. Don't oh, grab the nuts. Hey, man. Hey, you hey. might get embarrassed if he grabs the nuts. Hey. It's a good play. It's a good play. Average your best. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I'm fast as boy. Touchdown. Come at me. Oh. In and out. We're gonna throw a ball up right here. Take it to the house. Oh! You get caught. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give him a hard time. Won the game. I successfully didn't re injure my hand. Played hard. I was more of a decoy than anything, but it's okay. Got the dub. I gotta work on my, on my trash talking game though. Wasn't very good. So back to the subject of hobbies. Was there a hobby that you used to do as a kid that brought you a lot of joy, but went away from it, but now wish you hadn't? For me, that hobby was playing the drums. I was told at the age of 12 that I would never play sports again. I had a rare condition in my knee called osteochondritis dissecans. And it's when the blood supply to your knee completely goes away and the bone actually dies. Only reason I started playing the drums was because I couldn't play sports. Not only did I fall in love with the drums, but my knee healed. Even though the scan said that bone was floating around in my knee joint, when the doctor got in there, it was still attached. So all they had to do was drill holes to encourage blood flow back to my knee. But then something happened. My mom sold my drum set. She said I was too loud. Are you kidding me? It's a drum set. Of course it's loud. Since that time, I never got another drum set. Until the other day, I played on a drum set and it brought all the feelings back. I found all of these pieces for a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna take all of this and I cleared out a spot upstairs to assemble the drum set. It might take a little while. Do you want to help me set up the drum set, huh? Do you want to help me set up the drum set, sir? Yes. Okay. We have some helpers. What about you, Knox? You want to help too? Symbol delivery service. Oh, we got another one. What you got? That's what I feel. Oh, no. About you putting a drum set up. Oh, no. Sound like my mother. Our hobbies and passions have the power to shape our lives and give us direction. They offer a break from daily routines and provide a chance for us to express our creativity. Embracing our passions, even if it requires taking a risk, is a courageous step that can lead to personal growth, fulfillment, and ultimately happiness. So take the leap, pick up a new hobby, follow your passions. You never know what amazing experiences and discoveries await you. A few moments later. Okay.